Rocky Lynn's life is like a country song. In fact, many of the songs he has written are autobiographical tunes. It's the story of a man who has made it the old-fashioned American way through hard work and perseverance. A Statesville, North Carolina native, Rocky began his music career as a member of his high school jazz ensemble. Later, as a young man, a stint in the Army left a lasting impression and created another passion that would emerge later in his life. After the Army, Rocky resumed his music career. His goal, always, was to perform his own music. Surprisingly, he found success when this country boy settled in Minnesota, of all places. It was in the Midwest where he performed 200 to 300 shows a year that Rocky built a strong fan base. And it was at a Midwest tavern when a record company executive saw him for the first time and decided on the spot that Rocky had what it took for the big time. A contract signed in 2003 with Universal Music Group, the world's largest, followed soon after. Rocky was 38 at the time. It didn't take Rocky long to justify his contract. In 2006, his single, Lipstick, spent 21 consecutive weeks on Billboard's country music chart. Another song from his first CD, Red, White and Blue, is often played at memorial services for fallen American soldiers. This is a source of great pride for Rocky, who has had a lifelong dedication to military causes. Rocky is the founder of Tribute to the Troops, Beginning in 2003, he has hosted an annual charity motorcycle ride with hundreds of bikers visiting Gold Star families to thank them for their sacrifice. The organization has donated over $1 million to the Fallen Heroes Children's Education Fund, which provides tuition assistance to children who have lost a parent in active duty. Rocky has also performed in Washington, D.C. almost every Memorial Day weekend since 2011 for injured troops at Walter Reed Army Medical Center. He continues to entertain soldiers at military bases all over the world. Rocky is a popular TV guest and performer. He also has made more than a dozen appearances at the legendary Grand Ole Opry in Nashville. Meanwhile, Rocky continues touring the country something his ever-growing legion of fans appreciate. the father of three and lives in his native Statesville, where he operates a sound and recording studio. A documentary on Rocky's life is scheduled for release this fall. Please welcome Rocky Lynn.